Just a little tease here of the new frame. And he says we won't break this anymore. Same idea as the square body, just didn't have to cut it back as far, but look at this fucking mess. That's cracked. And that's rotten underneath the wire. What's up, boys and girls? Pretty exciting day. Finally got my truck back. Finally got most of it back together. Everything done to it that I want to do. Um, we've got a new frame underneath the back end of it. We've got some new headlights into it. Uh, I still got the old BMW Bison and bulbs into it, so it's going to be super bright. But uh, you guys, if you've been watching the channel, you know that I broke the frame in this truck hauling my big trailer. And, uh, well, I wasn't about to give up on the old truck because it served me so well. So I decided we're going to put a frame under it the same as I did to the old square body. So, to dig right into it and dive right into it, boys, oh boys, we had to take a lot of stuff apart. We had to pull the bumper off, we had to pull the box off, we had to pull the exhaust off, we had to pull the hitch off. We had to move all the wiring, had to unhook my backup camera. A whole bunch of fun and games. And all in all, I'm very happy with the way it turned out. I'm going to crawl underneath here. It's a super hot day. Nothing better to do, so I might as well make a video. But look at this gear. We've got a full 8 inch frame now. It's not tapered down at all behind the leafs. Did a real nice job plating it all in this is where the joint is and on this side it's over here behind the gas tank but we also had the gas tank off and um, we repaired the two cross members that were damaged if you've seen the earlier video look at that now that's pretty cool we may or may not have drank one or two beer in the process of this project and if you look right up there, there's a beer can actually lodged between my two exhaust pipes. <laughs> oh, shoot. But yeah, as you can see, this was a, a fairly involved project. And uh, hopefully the old truck's going to last quite a while now. A lot of steel and nuts and bolts and time and money invested into this thing now. Even though it's just an old beater tow truck for me oh. so she's getting a little rusty around the edges so I got the black paint out in the brush and you know just kind of touch the borders up to make it look not so crappy but um, gotta say pretty happy with the old thing it was quite a while getting the frame done had other projects on the go and other troubles. Let's see if I can get this beer can out of here. Look at that gear. Not sure who was drinking the old ones because I don't drink them. But, uh... So, yeah, pretty excited to be able to use this truck again. Instead of using this old girl to tow that big trailer around that I got. And uh, the only issues I've got with this thing now is I'm probably going to have to throw a set of batteries into it. It's been sitting around so long that the old batteries aren't real great anymore in it. Well, not horrible. But man, you want to talk about a reliable old tough truck. I put this thing through like three and a half wars, beat the snot out of it, beat the snot out of it with my trailer on, done all kinds of crazy foolishness with the thing, and it just loves it. So uh, we haven't got much use on the Eaton locker that I installed here a little while ago, so there's not many kilometers in that. It's not really worth talking about too much, but it works great so far. Have no, haven't had any issues. 
Um, the only thing that brakes got a little rusty and cruddy from sitting around while we were doing the frame. So they're in the process of uh, trying to make themselves happy again. They don't look too great in there, but well, it is what it is. We'll throw some brakes on it later on if we got to. So uh, this thing, I'm putting this to work basically immediately. We put new lower ball joints in it last night. I smashed and pounded my guts out. And if you look back on my video of how to build the ultimate durable front end for these trucks, I'm not sure how long they actually last it, but based on how I use the truck and what I do with it, um, these ball joints here definitely aren't the worst thing on the market. I don't know if they're really any better than the factory AC Delco ones, but they look prettier and fancier. And uh, they did hold up quite a while. I'd have to go back and look at the video when I installed them, but those have definitely been in there at least two years, maybe more. But uh, nothing lasts forever, as you know. So yeah, I'm pretty, pretty stoked to have the truck back and working properly and frame not broke all fixed up and I figured you guys would enjoy seeing it back because this is probably the reason why a lot of you subscribe to my channel and uh, I just want to throw a shout out to all my subscribers who are dedicated and watch thank you and I appreciate it and uh, we're gonna see some more action with this thing in the very near future because uh, she's got lots of work to do and this old girl over here just needs a little break so I can get things caught up with that again. But not to say anything bad, this old truck served me uh, very, very well in the time that this one was down. And that truck's definitely capable of doing a lot of work for, uh, for what it is. With that 6 liter in there and those low gears, that thing is an extremely capable little truck. But I'm hoping... To maybe just use this one now for towing and I might throw my 37s back on the old square body and lift it back up higher like it used to be before but who knows only time will tell you guys let me know what you think let me know what you think about the trucks throw some comments in there throw some likes helps me out and uh, be prepared to see this thing towing in action again we did have a couple little issues when we stuck the bumper on with it. Uh, we had it set too low, so I went back out and bugged Andy this morning. We torched the bumper off and raised it up. Now I can get my hitch on, no problem. Backup camera's perfect. So, uh, like I say, this thing's ready to, uh, to be the workhorse that I made it. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and hit that like button. This is my 8.1 six-speed Allison 513 ring and pinions, railer camshaft, intake mod, all kinds of stuff done to the truck if you want to check out the earlier videos and see what all is done to it.